This program is brought to you by Emory University. Welcome you to a, a video documentary of a remarkable conference that took place at Emory University in, in April of 2012. It's called the Making Connections, the Celtic Roots of Southern Music. And what it really involved, as you'll see, was an examination of the cultural forces at work in Celtic and Southern roots music in relation to all that we mean by the word community. That theme was explored in an interdisciplinary format through a series of lectures, demonstrations, panel discussions, workshops and concerts involving a group of nationally and internationally noted scholars and artists. That connection between thinking and performance was one of the key elements that ran through the entire conference. And uh, I think that's what makes it both entertaining as well as enlightening. A particularly uh, strong emphasis was placed upon an issue, a controversial issue, but one that I think is uh, increasingly important today, and that is the connections between the traditional music of Ireland, including the Scots-Irish and Scotland, with American country music. The legendary folklorist Henry Glassy, who gave the keynote lecture at the conference, describes the folk arts particularly in their communal, sacred, and local impulses as representing what he calls subversive forms of resistance to the homogenized culture of mass media. In light of, these, in light of that observation, the Celtic Roots Conference discussed and debated a number of the following questions. How do the folk arts, particularly traditional music, contribute to the idea of community? How does the fact that the traditional arts in general, uh, especially music, are passed on in families, have been passed on for generations, hand to hand, mouth to mouth? What happens when people move away from that community and maybe acquire more subtle gifts, more, more technically proficient uh, ways of playing music? and then come back, to the, uh, come back to that community as professionals. Are they accepted within that community? Do they actually uh, help that community to move forward in its sense of itself? Or do they change the authenticity of what was the roots itself of tradition? What is distinctively Celtic about the Irish, Scottish, and Scots-Irish uh, traditions? And what of those traditions respectively uh, given to the roots music of the American South? What other traditions have contributed to that roots music, particularly the African-American tradition? One question particularly interests me, and it came out of a concert that uh, I attended uh, a few years ago with the great uh, fiddler Mark O'Connor, when afterwards I met uh, uh, a member of his group a Scottish fiddler, and was talking to her about uh, traditional styles, and she said, well, you know, we really think of Irish uh, fiddle music as somewhat soft and flowy. Uh, we don't care for it that much. And to be candid about it, uh, I thought I knew a fair amount about traditional music, but I hadn't known about that distinction. And so, in some ways, this conference came out of my own questions, my own, my own realization that there were a lot of things I didn't know what to listen for in traditional music. That really makes one tradition uh, distinctive from another and really gives you a greater joy in all of the traditions. And that, to me, is the big overarching theme of this entire conference. There's an old Irish saying that the most beautiful music is the music of uh, what happens. And uh, I think that... Uh, uh, the connection between thinking, reflection, and actual practice was uh, what was most remarkable about this uh, conference. That and the ways in which uh, conversations, ordinary human engagements, having food together, improvising music, and then some incredible concerts, three concerts, all mixing up these traditions in many ways, but each demonstrated the mastery of, uh, of particular musicians in their own traditions. Uh, all of that made for a remarkable event, and uh, uh, certainly by the end of it, we had a much better idea of what community is. And I hope you do, too. The preceding program is copyrighted by Emory University.